Hi everyone, it's John with Prudential Lighting. Today we're going to be talking about wall washing. Lighting of vertical surfaces and uh, how to get the effect that we want to have uh, depending on what it is you're trying to do. We're washing and in this case what we're trying to do is wash this whole vertical surface in light. Now we are washing the, the grazed surface in light as well, but you'll notice that this one is quite a bit brighter. It's the same amount of light. It's just the angle at which we're hitting it is reflecting back into your eye, and so it feels more lit. Um, we have a couple of different styles of wall washing, though, uh, and uh, that's what I'm showing you right here. We are currently using our 4-inch, our P43 and or our Bionic. And, um, and again, against this wall, you can see the angle of attack of that light is up at 30 degrees. Now, what that does for you when we're washing this wall is it creates what I'm going to call a focal glow, which means in this area, somewhere in this five to six foot range where most people are looking, I'm going to see uh, a markedly higher level of intensity. Now, there are no striations and no shadows. And there, it's really clean, but there's for sure more intensity happening here, and that's where you're going to put um, a, a, a logo or a painting or some other something on the wall that you want to draw attention to, but you want the wall to feel lit. Um, and as you look at these numbers, uh, you can see I've got about 105 foot candles and it drops to about half, 53 at the moment. And then up here, we've got about 88 and, uh, and then it drops off even further down to about 37. So we've got this focal glow happening and we drop down slowly as we go up to the top and up to the bottom. This creates a wall that does not feel flat. It feels like it's got some movement in it when you look at it. And, um, and this would be what you would do if you have something on the wall. So now what we've done is we've chosen our P23, which is our two inch aperture um, wall washer. And uh, they both are wall washers. Uh, they both act the same way. However, they give very, very different results. Now, all of our wall washers from Prudential are designed to be a 30 inch setback from the wall, given that it's a nine foot wall. Obviously, if the wall grows in height, the setback grows as well. Um, but uh, at um, a nine foot high with a three foot setback, that gives me a 15 degree angle, uh, which is what the P23 is aimed at. And it puts the max candela into the intersection of the floor and the wall. And then if you look at the distributions on the polar charts, on the polar plots, it comes straight up as straight as we can. And what that does for us is it creates a wall that's much more evenly illuminated. And you can see by these numbers now, I was at 105 and now I'm at 59. And I go on up and I'm at 58. And I come back down here and I'm at about 35 and then 27 or so. And so on a max to min ratio, uh, this wall is going to be uh, better, if you will. There's gonna be less distance between my maximums and my minimums. However, what that does is it gets rid of my focal glow and it creates a wall that feels more flat. And so uh, you have to choose which one do I want. If I uh, don't have anything on this wall and I just wanted to paint it orange and have it vibrate the whole thing, this would be a great choice. Um, if it was a wall to, or a floor to ceiling uh, graphic, again, that I didn't want to have any variations, this would be a great choice. Um, so there are certain ways, uh, to, certain reasons why you'd want one or the other. Now to create the other, I wanted a focal glow and I'm using the P23. All I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat the distance and I'm going to move it forward from that 30 inches and I'll move it into about 24. And now you can see I'm starting to cheat uh, and get a little bit more focal glow happening. However, because it's a fixed optic, that is going to raise up on the wall. And so now instead of at the five to six foot range, I'm gonna be in at about the seven foot range. And as I come closer, you'll see these numbers now, I've got 71 uh, foot candles here at that five foot range, and now I'm up at 91 uh, in that about an eight foot range. So as I cheat it to get a focal glow, it's going to move up. So now the beauty of uh, the microwash is we can do the same thing and bring it out of the ceiling and that gives us the ability to aim. Now it's designed to do the same 30 inch setback. It's designed for that same 15 degree angle into the intersection of the wall and the floor, uh, but it is aimable and so I can get up and adjust a little bit. But 
uh, when, we, when we come out of the ceiling plane, the other thing I'm able to do is uh, to throw light up and above. So in this case, if I had a, a, an open ceiling or a higher ceiling and I wanted to drop something down and give a wall wash effect um, and have light go further up than the fixture itself, dropping out of the ceiling obviously is the only way to do that. Uh, this, this product, our Micro Wash, which is just like the Micro Cove, uh, is designed to give a focal glow as well. And uh, if you look here at the numbers, I'm, uh, I'm about 85 foot candles. I get up uh, to about 100 in this range, and, uh, and then I'm falling down to 40 and to 30. So again, no striations, no noise. The wall feels really, really nice and evenly illuminated, but for sure I have this Kind of extra intensity in this glow area. Now if I want to take the micro wash and I want to create a flatter wall um, and uh, I want this wall to radiate very evenly, all I'm going to do is give it some more distance and in this case I'm going to add about six inches and we can watch these numbers fall and, and if you're in person you feel it. Uh, we've got the numbers so you can see it but uh, in person it really feels flatter. So by creating distance, that wall becomes flatter. And then the numbers themselves, in this case, I'm, uh, I'm still about 73 here, but this has dropped down to about 77. And uh, this is uh, 42 and uh, about 30 again at the bottom. So what's happening is I'm not, I'm not really getting rid of light down here at all. I'm just taking this light uh, and, and flattening it out by distance. Okay, so today we talked about uh, two different topics, both related to washing or lighting of vertical surfaces. And uh, the first thing was our grazing. And the grazing, again, was about creating drama, using uh, texture within the architecture uh, to create drama with light. And, uh, and then we moved on to wall washing. And wall washing is not trying to create drama now in that sense, uh, through shadow and highlight, but rather to uh, illuminate in a, in a soft manner a vertical surface. And we talked about either doing it um, where this surface is very evenly illuminated and almost feels flat, is what I called it. And then the second uh, was about creating a, a more of a focal glow. And in this case, that's what I'm standing in front of. Uh, we used our P43 to do that and also our uh, microwash. So hopefully those techniques, uh, the logic behind them, how you achieve them are things that you can go and replicate now. If you'd like to know better how to achieve what you're looking for, please reach out to your local rep. Uh, you can uh, contact us at Prudential if you'd like as well. Uh, we'd like to help you achieve the, the look that you're looking for.